Hi, right, I'm Sam. Welcome to another review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Rosie the Riveter riveting tool. Now, this is made by a company called, I think it's Dowsec or Dusec in Czech, uh, the Czech Republic. Um, I've had a copy tool of this for a while, which is this one. Uh, I can't remember where it's from. I got a feeling it's RB or RP Productions. I can't remember which one it is now. So if you do know, shout out in the comments. Now, it works okay this one, but what I've read recently is the actual wheel, the riveting wheel, is photo etch. So it is susceptible to damage. It does bend quite easy. Um, but I've used this on and off now for past 12 months. I finally splurged and bought a proper Rose the Riveter, and it's like a night and day the difference. This is a much higher quality tool, but really around the same price. Um, so good. Uh, these are about, uh, in the UK, you can pick them up for about £12 each. Uh, I got them direct from the manufacturers in the Czech Republic for £10 each. There's six of them in total, I think. I bought the other five, they're on the way to me. So it shows you how impressed with the tool I am. So, what is this for? Well, this is for anything you need to re-add or completely add rivets to. So it's basically a wheel. I get it to focus. There you go. It's a pointed uh, wheel that moves like so. And you can basically run it along and add rivets to anything that needs adding. So whether you want to completely uh, re-rivet an aircraft or add rivets that aren't depicted on the aircraft itself or you need to add them back in after uh, sanding uh, etc scribing and whatnot then this is the perfect tool compared to this one it's night and day it's a much much better quality tool the wheels much better quality the points are actually looks like it's a proper machined head so longevity this is going to outperform this all day long and I will only be using this now so the reason, like I say, is for something like this. This is a Seafire, it's an FR-47 Seafire wing uh, that came with one of my Airfix kits. This is the option to have the wings up. So as you see, we've got a few rivets there, but the rest of the wing is pretty clean. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to add a little bit of rivet detail. So what I've got is some um, tape. Now this is from a Dymo machine which is a label maker. This is the rip-off tape, this isn't the proper stuff. I actually find this works better than the proper stuff itself. So I've also got this stuff, which I bought recently from HiQ. Uh, yet to test it, but this is their carbon guide tape, or you could use it for riveting as well. So this is another variant as well, yet to test that yet, but I will at a later date. But this stuff I've been using for years, I've been using the proper stuff which isn't cheap at all, but recently, bear with me, I bought this copy stuff off eBay, it's a lot cheaper, I think I got five rolls for about £10, as opposed to one roll for like six, so what you do is you're going to use this as a guide, so it's self-adhesive, sticks on the plastic like so, then you grab your riveting wheel, hopefully I don't go in shot, put it up to the edge, and then just follow the edge where you want it and that should leave us with some nice rivet as you can see just there so if you were re-riveting the whole aircraft you just go along each step of the way you'd add more in as and when required until you got the effect you're looking for. Now I wouldn't go back over it like I just did. It didn't do any harm then but as a matter of course I wouldn't go back over. So that's the Rosie the River. So if we try this copy one that I've got and put it next to it we'll see the difference and see if there is any actual difference in the rivets it leaves behind. Straight away, it doesn't feel as good a quality. <clears throat> and the rivets are not straight. Quite hard to see. The bottom two are the rows of the river. The top one is the other one, the copy one. Uh, they're not straight. They're all over the place. Like I say, the wheel is easily damaged. A little too much pressure here or there. 
and away you go. So the rivets left by the rosy one are all uniform, all equally spaced, absolutely fantastic, really, really good. And obviously, if you're careful enough and you've got a line to follow, you could freehand them like so. So just there next to that. And obviously, if you go on the back, you can have a real good play. Just put a whole load of them in. we have just there at the back hopefully you can see those and it works faultlessly it's a much higher quality tool than this one by far so that will be <coughs> put into the spares box and this is the 0.75 mil uh rosie the riveter i got all the other sizes they do on the way i think they do from 0.4 up to 1 in 0.5 mil increments i think it is they don't do every step of the way but they do all the sizes that you're going to need. So, yeah, for me, it's a much higher quality tool. It's a very cheap uh, tool to manufacture, but that wheel is a lot higher quality um, than the one on that other one, and I think it's going to get more consistent and better results over time. It'll certainly look a lot better. So there you go. So this stuff, like I say, eBay, I might as well give you the tip while I'm in here, Five rolls of that was about £10 delivered. You get quite a lot on the roll. You got a lot more than you do with the a proper dymo tape. It's a lot more sticky than the original stuff. And I find you can re-stick it about three or four times, as many times as you can the dymo tape. And this stuff works out about £2 a roll, whereas the dymo tape's about £6 a roll. So worth it. So look at that on eBay. It's great stuff. And for me, this riveter, absolutely brilliant. Uh, there's a bit of information on the back as well. I'm going to read it all. But if you want to read it, and you can. Have a little pause. Might be too far away for you, but it's there. What we'll do, we're coming close. And we'll do that bit. And that's it. So there you go. So it's basically uh, maintenance is drop a little bit of fluid uh, lubricant in the wheel. Don't push or drop the wheels against hard materials, such as glass. The lighter is pressure when using the tools, the higher they will be their dur durability. My God, that's a mouthful. <clears throat> but for me, it looks a great tool. Definitely a great addition to the uh, the building weapons. And uh, it will certainly be replacing my cheaper one. Um, it's a much more high quality component. You can see in the wheel the difference. A lot higher quality. So there you go. So you're looking for a new rescriber. Have a look at the Rosie the Riveter, all different sizes. You can buy them in a multitude of places, whether you're in the US, Europe, etc. Or you can buy them direct from the manufacturers, which is www.dosec.eu, uh, which you can see just there. So there you go. It's a quick review uh, of a very handy tool that I'm sure will see a lot of use. Like I said, I got the other five on the way, that's impressed I am. It cost me nearly £60 from the manufacturer, so not cheap at all. I think they're very handy tools and uh, I'm a big fan of uh, high quality tools. I think you get what you pay for and it shows in the long run. So there you go. So a quick review of that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that of some interest and uh, I'll catch you guys around. See you soon. So take care. Bye bye.